Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Ludacris Shots, and I'm so happy about that 500 subscribers still. I gave my partnership tonight or tomorrow, like the features. And yeah, as you can see, I was just talking to Ergo here. And just in case he sends me messages and you guys are thinking he's a creeper, I just labeled it there for you guys so you'll like know it's a normal person. Um, yeah, so I'm friends with him a lot, and so. Yeah, but a couple, first couple of things I want to get started with. X-Ray. It's X-Ray Clan. Um, their name on YouTube is It's X-Ray. I-T-S-X-R-A-Y. Pretty cool dude, the founder. He's a pretty cool guy. And you guys might want to go see if you can, you know, be in the clan too. I made them the GFX. I think they were my speed art. I don't recall. I made their logos and everything. And overall, they're just a pretty cool clan. I mean... I like the name. I also like how they chose uh, orange. But yeah, the next uh, little shot I want to give is to a Porks Clan PS3. They're a new clan, and to be honest, I'm shouting them out because they're small. And I know what it was like to be them, like, except they're a clan, so it should be way easier to get subs because clans get subs way easier. But, um, or in views. So, I mean, I wanted to shout them out because I know where they are. This guy's like a 12 year old, and I mean, that's a little young, I'm not gonna lie. But, you know, you gotta be passionate about what you gotta be passionate about at whatever age. So, go check out a Porks Clan PS3 and maybe see if you can join the clan yourself. I'm guessing it's PS3 only. Next thing in the title of the video Photoshop Tutorial The Basics. I made you guys a little thing right here. And so what we're actually going to do is work on this little thumbnail I made. So, the the theme, uh, the theme for this video is how to make 2D, 2D text a little more 3D. And that's for the people that don't have Cinema 4D. If you have Cinema 4D and you already have that 3D text, I would not recommend doing this, what I'm about to do on that text, because it'll make it look bad. So, for now, I'm just going to erase these little things. And I'm gonna work on just the Photoshop tutorial portion of the picture. So let me find the basic. All right. So we see right now it's 2D. Now, what can we do to make it a little more 3D? And this is for the people that really just don't want to get Cinema 4D, even though it is free, or maybe they're the kind of people that only want to purchase it. So that's fine. I'm just gonna work on the Photoshop actually, the Photoshop word. So, I'm going to take the effects off to show you. This is what it looks like. So, let's you have white text. You want to make it look icy, so you put a color overlay. Turn on overlay, get that icy color. So, then we got that. Then we get the gradient. Let me make this visible first. So, this part's actually pretty important. Alright. It's plain blue all the way through. Um, no gradient or all. So, turn on gradient. And then, what I do is I have a preset from the internet. Um, it's called Platinum E3, or E3, and when you turn that on, it just gives it a pretty sick look. Like, I'll show you the difference. See, it puts that black on the bottom, or you can have black on the top. Let's do black on the bottom. It makes it look a little more shiny, if you know what I'm saying. But that's, that's nothing to do with, with 3D. The most important part for 3D text is bevel, or I say bevel and emboss. So you go here and you can already see it's 3D, but it's it's kind of kiddish, childish looking. We want to make it more cool. So what we'll do is we'll turn on contour. That'll give it a little more of an like, inside shade. Don't turn on texture unless you really want a texture. So what we're gonna do is mess with the bevel. So the number one thing, outer bevel gives you this 3D-ish look. Um, inner bevel gives you another 3D look, except this time it's like the inside is popping out. Um, there's another thing called emboss. Basically, it's just outer bevel, except it's sharper looking. And, yeah, so we're going to do outer bevel. And I know it doesn't look the best, but we are going to do it regardless. So the first thing you want to do is make your depth accordingly to how you would like it. You see, this is what it does. Here's a depth at a thousand, here's a depth at zero. It's basically 
the size of the outside per se. Or no, it would be the white, the measure of the white on the black. So you, you want to adjust it to your liking. So now you have a cool shine everywhere. Life is good, but we want to change the size because if it gets too big, well, I don't think that's very beautiful. Or that. And if you get too small, well, there's nothing there. So we're going to go to 3. Because that's right in between. And it looks a little cleaner if you look at the difference. It looks, it just looks overall a little better. So we go to 3, and then we, you know, mess with that stuff. And then over here, what we can do is change. No, 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 don't change any of that. So basically, I'm pretty sure that's all you got to do. And look at that. Watch out, you got some 3D text already. The next thing you can do is obviously, if you let's say make a new layer, um, let me get my paintbrush. Where is my paint? I'm using CS6 by the way. Any of you are curious? Okay, so I'm gonna get some white behind there. And what we can do is the most obvious of them all, make some drop shadow behind there. So what we can do is go drop shadow. You guys see three years, and we're gonna make a little passy 100. Now, what we're going to do is take the size and go to roughly, I, I go to 8. So we go to 8, do not mess with the spread, because, I mean, unless you want it to look like that, I think they're pretty cool, but I don't usually mess with the spread. Personally, 0 is too low, so I go to 10, and then distance is most important. This is going to be how far it is away. So as you can get, I guess this would be pretty 3D, right? If it was that far away. But you can also mess with the ankle. So let's say you want it to be like straight at you. Kind of, like that kind of thing. Or, yeah, something like that. You could go 90. 90 or 90. Because that's straight up and straight down. Then you mess with the distance and get it to mm, 10. So now you got this nice little, you know, it's 2D, really, but it's 3D. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Let me add everything back and see how it looks all together. Pretty crappy, because I had effects that were on, but now I added more, so. It's because, it's because the white. Oh, look here. But there you go. Um, I think that's pretty nice looking, if you ask me. Look at the difference from this to this. And what I'll do for you guys is actually just turn off everything else. And you can look here. So here's the difference between this text and this text. Um, I honestly think it looks a lot better. Turn off the effects. Or turn on the color overlay. Um, let's let's see it. Just turn on this. Now that they're the same, then you add the gradient overlay, and it's a little shiny, drop shadow, coming at you, and then the bubble, and the boss. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little 3D um, text tutorial on Photoshop. we are bringing you more if you guys want that. All you have to do is comment below, and I will surely get to that because this was fun. So let's see what we get to. We got to 8, 9 minutes. That's pretty long, but... Uh, I tried to keep it simple and like, as simple as I could. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments or send me a message. I talked fast to get this over with because I did a tutorial like this, but except I took my time and explained all the details. It took 20 minutes, so I just redid the whole thing. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. Remember to go check out It's X-Ray and Pork's Clan 3XD. And this is Ludacris Fatty Boy. Peace out.